So another really important maintenance job, annual maintenance, uh, however long it takes before you haul the boat up in the water. But while you got the boat up in the air, uh, as part of the bottom paint and all of that work that you're doing, it's important to make sure you inspect your zincs at least and change out the ones that are no longer functional. Uh, what is a zinc and why is it important? Um, uh, the other term for a zinc is called an anode. Actually, that's the more correct term nowadays. Uh, every zinc is an anode, but not every anode is made of zinc. They also make them out of aluminum. So the correct term is an anode. What an anode does is it helps uh, with electrolysis. Electrolysis is an electrical reaction that occurs when you have an electrical current and an electrolyte, like salt water especially. Fresh water is uh, similar, but salt water is really a lot worse. Um, it creates electrical current, which makes electrons between metals transfer, and eventually the softer metals will start to give way and corrode, and you get stuff like, uh, there's really no bad, bad stuff on the boat, but you can see around the rudder where it's starting to wear off. And the zinc plates, you know, it's all starting to corrode and pit and wear away, and eventually it'll be gone. Like the zincs that used to be here have now eaten away. And if you can see the prop shaft zinc, we'll look at it later. Uh, it's it's almost completely gone. So what the zincs are for, and they used to be called martyrs back in the day, is so that that electrolysis force doesn't eat the expensive stuff like your rudder and your prop and your trim tabs and the other metals by providing a sacrifice or a softer metal that's why they're called martyrs um, for the electrolysis to eat instead of the stuff you want to protect so you attach these zincs to various places your running gear all the metal stuff that's going to be underwater and uh, as you're going through the year those zincs will run away instead of your equipment okay so we're going to replace the zincs here um, it's only going to be on your running gear, on the metal parts, on the underneath part of the boat. So you're not going to see anything up forward unless you've got a pal thruster. Um, so I need them for my trim tabs. I need them for my rudder. And I need them for my shaft. Those are the ones I need. So figure out what size you need. We know what type we need. I've got my calipers. You can use a tape measure, of course, but caliper is going to give you a more accurate measure, especially for things like your shaft propeller. So my rudder zincs used to be here. Not anymore, but you can still see the circle. So we're looking... Inch and a half there. And then the rudder, you can see those are pretty big think on here before I don't think I want to go quite that big but let's measure and see what it was so it looks like that's probably a three three and a half inch thing on there maybe a four but I think I want to go a little bit smaller because my boat's not going to be in the water all year round um, and I'm going to have the opportunity to inspect and make sure it's not wearing away faster than what I expect it to when I pull the boat back out of the water for the winter. So I think a three inch one. Probably going to do me a pretty good you know, small rudder, so I want a little bit more surface area. Alright, and then the shaft, shaft sink up here is kind of corroded. It's even got some particles growing on it. Um, so that one definitely needs to be replaced. And the caliper is the best way to measure the shaft. Uh, and we got an inch and a quarter there. Get on my phone. Go to go to Marine. Look for anodes in the search bar. It'll pull up everything in the world. Millions of anodes to choose from. You're looking for a trim tab zinc, rudder zinc, and a shaft zinc. There's several varieties. Um, if it gets too confusing, give me a call. I'll help you straighten it out. So I've gone online, I've ordered my zincs. Mr. UPS brought them to me super fast. Got my shaft zinc, inch and a quarter shaft. It's a clamshell, comes apart. It's two sides slide over. 
Allen rich screws. Got my three inch rudder zinc. Harder. That's a brand, but it's also a thing. Got my trim tab zincs. Oh, and we forgot the most important one. Sorry. This zinc is hooked up to the grounding system in the boat. So, lots of electricity coming through there. That's the main one that we want to make sure is intact. If it splits in half, it's no longer doing its job. If it comes off of the posts, it's no longer doing its job. This one's probably still pretty good. It would last a little bit longer, but since we're changing everything out anyway. Let's go ahead and get that one. 12 by six, pretty standard size. But you can see how much thicker and more complete that zinc is. In fact, let's take this one off real quick. You can see we already had it off when we were painting the bottom of the boat, but just for demonstrations. So you can see the difference between those two right there. This boat had been kept in fresh water up until this point. I'm getting ready to put it in salt water. So this is probably about three years on that zinc in fresh water. Salt water that happened in about I don't know, a year, if that. Okay, since we do have this one for a template, it'll be easy to mark it to drill holes. They do come pre-drilled, even with slots. Um, but those ones are usually a little bit thinner. And uh, I'm old school, so I wish I had it the old-fashioned way. This is a lot cheaper also than the pre-drilled ones. So if you're boating on a budget like me, Got to do some of your own stunts. So that one we can line up and match up pretty easy. Uh, da -da -da. Jesse's got some stuff set up for me here. So let's go get the old ones off. Power tools are fine. Really? Broke it. I am mad. I use tools. See the difference? This used to be that before an electrolysis ate it. Help with install. Make sure the plastic washer, it has to be there and it will help keep the screw in place to aid with install. What good metal to metal contact. Doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but make sure you're contacting metal to metal. Over the top with a bunch of barnacles and stuff. So like I said, I want some clean metal metal contact. Um, shields up. Okay. 
You know, just want to make sure there's no growth or anything back here. Where there's a good deer tear or anything. Zinc is a nut, so you don't have to worry about that. Sorry, correct term, anode is a nut. These two are actually rudder zincs. I don't know if you've seen their clamshells. Same thing, two sides. Regular trim tab zincs only have one side. So I'm cheating. I put rudder zincs on there, so I got double protection on my trim tabs. That and my friends at GoTo didn't have the trim tabs in the size I needed, so these will work just fine. Last but not least, stern plate zinc. Um, since we do have this one for a template, we're just going to go ahead and use that to drill our holes. But if for some reason you don't, let me show you a little trick. So I'm going to center it like that. It looks about right. Okay. Take a little bit of bottom paint here, or whatever paint you got handy. Fingernail polish if you're done painting for the year. Put a little. Take our plate. Now we're going to line it up right where it's supposed to be. And I got marks for where my hole got to go. Not really good ones because it wouldn't go flat because of the angle of the rudder until it goes on. And I can move those down to center it if I want. But that's where my hole should line up, those little paint marks right there. I keep on doing both. I'm going to use my old-fashioned figure-it-out method. I brought it down to the center line there that's handily provided on my zinc. So, check my work. It's lined up pretty good. Thinks it's soft enough metal. Looks so heavy, I don't know if you need to clamp it down or not, but. Good idea if you're gonna be using a drill. If you've got one that's got a level already on it, great. If not, get a level so you can at least level one direction or another off. But since my son-in-law's a mechanic and has every tool in the world, we don't have to do that today. We can use a drill press. So three eighths of it. Yes. So we measured the studs. Studs are three eighths. Three eighths bit. So camera's running out of battery. We're just going to finish drilling this plate out, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. So after a little bit of work, we got the holes drilled out in the big zinc. Secured to the back of the boat, just clean the threads up, make sure there was nothing to hold it back, but all set. Everything's all nice and shiny. Bottom of the boat's ready to go back in the water. Very happy. Your old zincs, you dispose of them in the garbage can, they're biodegradable. Uh, but if you're in a harbor where there's a lot of electrolysis because of all the boats around you having their shore power hooked on all the time, which will increase the electrical current in the water, um, I take these old zincs that still have a hole there and I'll just run a piece of cord through this and any of these other ones that I can get a cord in and just tie it to the dot and drop it in the water down about six, eight inches a foot under the water line, not far enough so that it could get tangled up in you or when you're around, but that'll make the electrolysis in the water go after this first before it goes after that first before it goes after your metal so just another layer of protection and uh there's still a lot there so why not that's all for today see you next time